Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're just about to get into our COD game, and you might be wondering, who uh, is St. Clair College Varsity playing up against today? And it's going to be Akron. They're going to be playing each other once again. And I think Saints are probably feeling pretty good about this. They're definitely going to be feeling good about this. I watched uh, their game yesterday on Saints. Uh, one with relative ease. Akron were really no a match. You could see our players are locking in to get in, right, we're getting into the game uh, very, very soon from uh, what we heard, but we're going to be starting off on hard points, probably Saints' best game mode. Saw them hold teams to below 50 points multiple times yesterday in this game mode, and they just completely dominate the hard point game mode. Yeah, and they should be looking very, very good going into this hard point. Always works for them, but you know it's not quite working the matchmaking right now so that's why it's taking a little bit of extra time but bear with us we're here for a good time i'm sure it'll be no time at all flat but you know once we get into this match what do you think akron could do they've had a lot they might be a little bit more warmed up than saints as well because they just got out of their last match yeah without a doubt akron are going to be considering they won they're also going to be in good spirits they're going to have uh, momentum and adrenaline flowing through their body and they know the challenge uh, that awaits them in the saints they played against them yesterday they had little to no success in that whole series so definitely uh, they've taken some time to go through different strategies different ways to play the game and they're gonna have to throw uh, some curveballs at saints if they want to find any success yeah definitely especially since they got 3 0 last time they played i'm sure akron has gone through the vod and tried to figure out every mistake that they made and every mistake the saints potentially made that day so we'll see if they're they're able to figure that out and so much strategy goes into cod you know you might not seem like it if you're not as in depth with cod but there's so much strategy the positioning the placements when to go what to shoot where to aim it's all about those sight lines, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the big spotlight's going to be on KB today. He's been kind of the superstar for the Saints this semester. And every single game, when you look at the kill, uh, at the at the scoreboard, he's always out there. <laughs> Two KD, three KD, dropping nukes here and there. So it's going to be a it's going to be needing a big team effort from all of the team. But definitely the spotlight's going to be shining on KB. And let's see if he can uh, live up and play play his best game. Exactly, it's all on him, and hey, we're here in game. A long way to game is just about to begin. Here it is. First hard point is opening up. The Saints already have progress on it. They are in control against another though. KB gonna find one, and Ensley gonna find another, and there's trades coming out all around, but the Saints continuing to maintain control here. Contestant, they say find the last straggler there. You're gonna get just the hard point. Just like that, Saints are gonna get off to a hot start. It's gonna be MZ Bio. Bowie and Thieves for Akron and St. Clair gonna enslay a Priestley, Brandon and KB. KB now on a three kill streak to start off the game. Saints getting points and taking KB. Gonna find the fourth there as well as Nacho Sayo takes down Bio Saints. They're doing a great job to maintain the control here of this first objective. And so they're gonna find a nice wall bank there onto Thieves. KB and Enslay are still rolling both with five kills now on the board as this first point gonna go over to the Saints completely. Now you can see KB gonna be fighting for that next objective but will get taken down by Thieves. Uh, Priest is going to find a trade onto Bowie, but it's going to be Akron who are going to get the good spawns for this next objective. Can Brandon find another kill there onto Bowie across the map? Yes, he will. Going to pick that one up. Now Saints swarming the objective as they have members on all sides, but still Akron having the very, very good spawns as Saints struggling to get into, into the objective here. Yeah, the Saints struggling to get this hard point, but they're still not going to go down without a fight. They get two kills off the bat. That might be what they needed. There's a trade, and now they're in control once again. Looking at stretch themselves further into the lead. Priestley gets a nice double, and now to reload. Brandon holding up the back line here. Going to continue to play defense for this hard point. KB still on the attack, though, going deep into their spawn, trying to throw them off and get, let them get close here. Now, Brandon getting very low, but he gets one in all the chaos, and now there's a whole battle over the last scrap points of this game. And KB's rip, rocking the SMG, not something we see too often here, usually using that assault rifle, but three 
contestants there from Saints gonna take down Bao Inslayer. He's gonna take down Bio as well. Saints grow their lead to 52 now. And they're gonna have a very, very good positioning here. MZ is in the back there to make sure that some of his teammates will respawn in a good spot there. But Priestley is gonna go for that challenge. KB is gonna take down Bowie early. Priestley will go down to MZ, but he's gonna find KB as well. And so though, and Brandon finding a couple of trades back as Saints gonna get control of the objective. They have the good spawn as well. Thieves gonna go on a flank here. Can he find anything? Should be able to find one from the angle there. We'll be able to pick up Priestley, but the trade comes out. Bowie gonna take down KB, however, gonna find one as as well as now, it's going to be University of Akron swarming from all sides. Brandon will find one, will get traded out, as it's going to be the control taken by University of Akron. It's flashed out though, he's going to have to roll around here. The Saints have a little bit of a tough job getting in here, but there's luckily not too much time left on this hard point. Not going to just play for next, play for the kills and play for exits, as they're already setting up for next. You can see there's already a fight going on there. Bowie getting a kill, Saints getting a few grenades in there, not going to find too much, and Bowie finds another one. Now, Thieves up here on the high ground trying to find at something, anything. But Bowie is having a moment here. He's on a four kill streak, not going down. Now, this might be where Akron makes a comeback. They're still on this point, but just as I say that, the Saints are getting so many kills here. Priestley getting double, Edsley getting one. They're going to clear out that hard point really oh quickly. My. And with the pistol, he finishes off the last. And that's going to be a nice retake there from the Saints. Still 30 seconds and taking Bio, though. Going to find a couple. Could this be a recontest here? KB is going to be able to find one. Going to look for a second inside. Nobody's on the hard point. KB, nice turn there on to Bowie. Picks it up. Going to get taken down by Fuse, however. So Saints have to be careful here. But still, they should be able to pick up the scrap time. As Ensley and Brandon going to find a couple extra picks there. And you can see the other two members from the Saints, Priestley and KB, both are rotating over towards this next side. It's going to be just MZ here to contest them. And MC will fall down down Saints gonna have good control of this next hard point and we know how they like to play this one just put one player on the side have all three other members look around let's see who's gonna be the one who will be kind of the sacrificial lamb and just stand there staying alive Priestley though will fall down to bio who's on 12 HP no refrag comes out this point is very very hard to, to lock down Brandon is just laying down here waiting for someone to make a mistake KB nice shots there now gonna switch over back to that assault rifle for this a long range sideline but nice shots there from bio gonna find wall Bowie does get traded out by Priestley, but he's going to get shot in the back because it's going to be University of Akron taking control here. And Sayo, though, going to look to drop down. Could have found one if he dropped right there. Still going to go hit the beautiful flank as Saints should retake control of this hard point. They continue to grow their lead. And now they're going to break through that halfway point and start to climb these points even higher. Tree systems are set up on this hard point. It's going to be so hard to break, especially with Priestley and KB leading the charge there. I mean, just look at Priestley. He's going off right now, seeking them all out, taking them all down. Now we're going to go over to Enslayer. They're already positioning for this next hard point, and it's close to the one they're already guarding, so this should be a good rotation from them, but Bowie taking out one is going to be disastrous as they're going to flip over. Now we're going to look at Enslayer. He's going to go on the prowl here. MZ can find one. Brandon going to find another, and now Akron is in control of this hard point. Yeah, they found all of the right picks, and they're going to have a lot of time ticking up here still. They're down many, many points, so Saint still in the lead, gonna have to play here, recuperate KB, gonna fall again to Bowie, Thieves gonna go take it, take it down by Priestley, Bio's gonna find a pick, Priestley finding a pick back, but all these back and forth trades are still favoring Akron as Priestley finds another trade out, but the hard point is still taking for Akron, Saints struggling to find a way into this one, KB finally gonna make his way on to the hard point there, the challenge is gonna come out from Thieves, KB will get traded out by Bio, but Nacho said gonna find down as well. Now the Saints are finally flooding into the point as I say it runs out of ammo. Will get taken down by Bio still. So, so much time here capped by University of Akron on this point as they're now only 50 points behind heading into the next hard point. Just 50 points behind, but the Saints might be able to take this next one as they get nice two kills at the end of that hard point. Already rotating over on the other one. We're just going to be Priestley holding down this hard point. Six points ahead. If Akron can get this one, they won't be too far behind. But right now, the Saints are just racking up the points. And Akron can't find a way to push them here. Gonna go up that ridge and find a nice kill here. And now, they're still in control of this point. The Saints racking up so many points. If they finish this one out completely, they will 
just be one more hard point away, but hey, just I say that flips over oh, cool. as Akron gets an entire team wipe. Beautiful retake from Akron. They're going to be able to get these last seconds of this point, you would have to think to yourself, but it's going to be actually Insaya trying to, go get, get, trying to get these final few seconds here off of the objective. KB is actually going to pick up Thieves there, so they will get those last 10 seconds. You know, when you're in the lead, every single second is so important for you. It's going to be University of Akron fully giving up those last uh, dying seconds, but they will have full control of this next hard point. Feels like Saints are very, very confident in their retake game. They don't really send anyone on the flank to try and get the spawns. They just want to brute force their way into here. Let's see how it's going to work out for them. KB going to go for the initial swing alongside Astro Sayer. They're going to find entry pick. Priestley finds Bio as well. KB does get taken down by the nade. Brian is going to find MZ. It's up to Thieves here now. Has to be careful here to not go too quickly. As Saints have a lot of members, KB and Priestley going to find yet another two picks. As Saints just brute force their way into the point. They're going to take the hard point, get the good spawns just like that as well. Bowie's going to get into the site though, find a couple picks and holding on for his team. But Priestley and KB in the kill feed, finding everything. KB going to go down in the mid there. But Saints at 205 points and taking as they full, have full control of this hard point. Yeah, full control and they're right before the finish line here. They get this one. Only one more will stand in their way. But look oh. at that. Thieves getting a nice double out of nowhere. He's going to continue the streak, but Ensley are going to shut him down. And now the Saints are going to be hovering around two. 17 points to 18 points and now they can just hold one hard point down for the majority of the time this is the game's going to be going over to them Yep, 30 seconds and counting here for the Saints. They have full control of this one. KB gonna find a one. Can he find the second player pushing through here? Nobody from the side of University of Akron can push through anywhere as KB's gonna find a couple crucial picks. Bowie gonna pick up Brandon, but Saints 15 seconds away from victory. We're gonna see the desperation moves come out here from Akron. Two of them are gonna fall to KB. Priest is gonna find one more. It's gonna be all on MZ here. The kill streak comes out from Brandon. Won't find too much, but MZ has to make his move right now. It doesn't look like they're gonna be even able to touch the point here as that's going to be all she wrote saints with map one 250 to 129 yeah that's a nice map one for the saints but you can tell that akron certainly kept them on their toes they had to give it a hundred percent all throughout this match let's see what this final kill cam was and slay leading the charge of course MZ trying to make that last ditch rotate almost gets a double not, go not quite though yeah <laughs> Let's take a look at the leaderboard that said KB, the player to look out for, 28 and 14. Having that 2.0 KD, a uh, great map from him, but a great map from all the Saints. If you looked at the scoreboard there, all of them, I think, went positive. So great, great performance from them. They're going to need to keep this up as we're going to be heading into SND. We spoke about it, one of their weaker game mode, if not their weakest game mode. So I want to see if they can really uh, turn it up a notch and really uh, have a dominant search and destroy map here. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be a little bit of a tough fight here, but I think the Saints will still be able to eke this one out. I believe they've had so many games against Akron that they know their game plan, they know what they're walking into, they know what to expect, and I think the Saints have the right game plan prepped for this next S&D map. But with all that said, we're gonna throw it to a quick break and we'll be right back with Search and Destroy.
Hello, everybody. We are just about to get into game two of a St. Clair Varsity versus Akron. This is looking to be a very interesting match. S and D, not one of the Saints' strongest game modes, but they look, have been looking pretty strong against Akron in general. So we'll see if Akron has learned any tricks from the Saints this time. Yep, and it's going to be Saints on uh, the attack here. Let's see what they decide to do here. Please, they're going to look for some shots early. One funny thing, MZ laying down, waiting for someone to walk into his sides. But it looks like Saints looking to push this at the site. It's going to be only Thieves here on the defense. The smoke is going to come through. It's like a beautiful push there will take him out. Let's see if Saints can get this plant down very, very early on. Not something you see too often in Call of Duty, but Looks like they will have full control of the B site. Plant should be going down in just a second, and there it is, a few more seconds. And it's going to be University of Akron with all the pressure. 40 seconds and taking 7.5 seconds to get the defuse, Brandon. And KB going to be shooting down at Bowie there. Brandon going to find MZ. That's a 1v4 situation for Bowie, uh, Bio. A great first round coming out from the Saints, as it's a flawless one. Yeah, what a flawless victory from the Saints. I wish we didn't get that on camera. But uh, <laughs> Bruce went for a fist bump, he got a fist, but it's fine. He'll get it later, I'm sure. He got it off screen. But hey, KB going to seal the deal right there, getting killed around. And now the Saints, they did well that that time, but will Akron maybe be a little bit better on the attack this time? You know, because defending, it's always a little bit hard. You have to deal with the points of engagement as they come to you. Yep, and we're going to see Brandon go to his uh, beloved spot here. I see him there every single time uh, there's this map, no matter the game mode. Brandon goes over there and holds uh, down this sight line. It's a very good sight line to have. Look at the damage he's able to put out. And it's so hard to shoot back through that head glitch. How are we going to try? But he's going to realize that that's not a challenge you want to take, especially against Brandon. But the plant is going to be going down onto A immediately here. Saints going to have to look to regroup. Brandon finds one. KB does go down. Nacho say going to be able to trade out Thieves there. As the shots come through, they're going to be chasing down MZ there with the pistol. Now it's a 3v1 situation still. Have to get the defuse so the round is far from over. But Bayo going to take down to 9 HP. Brandon is going to be in that spot. Still going to find the second kill of the round. Is Saint. Beautiful retake. They're going to take the 2 lead as they look like they're smooth sailing on the search and the shore. Yeah, that was a beautiful round for the Saints. And now we've seen them on the attack. We've seen them on defense. I'm thinking this one's going to go the Saints way. But we've seen it time and time again. It's Call of Duty. Things can change on a dime if Akron can find some way to deal with the Saints, some way to lock in here, some secret weapon to whip out against them. They might be able to make a comeback here. But for now, Saints are looking to take this first half 3-0. And it's going to be Saints looking to push. It looks like B side again, but Priestley is going to go up this ladder. Has the bomb this time, and with the AR, probably won't be playing as fast, fast paced as the first time. There's going to be two members of the University of Akron actually on this B side, so Priestley going to get taken down very, very low, but we'll be stay alive. And Slay up has that SMG. Will probably be the more aggressive pusher here for the Saints. Priestley peeked out there for half a second, but did not get spotted out. As actually, and Slay is gonna fall first. KB though will pick up a kill onto MZ. So still a 3v3 situation here now for the Saints. Priestley is getting pushed by a couple of members. Has to be careful here. Can definitely hear this coming. Thieves alongside Bowie. Can they find anything on the backside? Yes, they will pick up a Brandon. Still somehow Priestley is able to make it out of his life. It's just going to be KB and Priestley, but KB going to drop as well. And it looks like University of Akron are pushing from all sides. It's going to be really hard here for Priestley to find anything as University of Akron are all playing stacked on top of each other, making sure any kill that gets taken down We'll be trading it out. There it is. He finds one. The trade comes through. University of Akron. Beautiful round on the defense. And they're kind of putting on the aggression now on the Saints. Yeah, and that seems to be working beautifully here. Just playing the sneaky side. Playing for the flanks. Playing a very aggressive. Playing the attack on the offense. Seems to be what they need to do against the Saints. And now, anyone's game. Only one point away. Akron going to tie this one up. And the Saints need to try and stretch the lead a little bit further. I'm wondering if we're going to see the Saints switch up their strats at all. They've been playing very aggressive. Now that Akron is matching that aggressiveness, I wonder if this is something different here. 
and Slayer gonna run all the way up to mid there alongside KB Phoebes will get tagged the ones that Brandon again sitting back there by those cars just holding down that sight line. It's going to be looking like another A push coming out from University of Akron. Are they going to look to get the plant down immediately? No, they won't. He's going to throw out some utility. Nice trophy system, those from the Saints. As Nacho Slayer is in a very, very dangerous position there. He's going to be able to find one onto Bowie as he did not check his corner. Rule number one of SND, make sure to check your corners, but it's going to be a great start for the Saints. Now, Priestley on the flank, though, getting a little bit too egregious, will be going down to MZ there. Now, it's the University of Akron haven't made too much room here. 40 seconds and taking. They need to make a play fast. It looks like B side is completely open, though, by the Saints. They haven't maybe even forgot that. That could be someone flanking up onto that position. Peeves gonna get the plant down as Saints need to find the retake. Yeah, Saints are looking to get the defuse now, but it's a 3v3. How to play the attack. It's gonna be a little bit dicey. He finds one inside though, that's gonna be huge. Now he's gonna rotate around the rest of his team. Press the numbers advantage. That's what he has to do. Time is ticking though. They need to move fast and move quick. They need to get onto this point very fast. You're gonna use an A to try and clear it up. Brandon finds another one. It is a 1v3 for Bio, and that's gonna be it as Ensign finds the last kill. The defuse coming in clutch here. This is gonna be the Saints taking this game 3-1 so far. That's two times now that Akron have gotten the plant down, but Saints playing the retake beautifully. Gonna be able to take this round as well now. On the attack, let's see what they decide to do. I think the first round from the attack on uh, their attacking side was definitely their strongest attack so far. They just rushed onto that side and took the plant down. I'd like to see something of the similar sort coming in. Yeah, I'd like to see that as well. But I wonder now that the Saints are back on the attack, will we see Akron opt for that aggressive, sneaky play once again, going for the flanks? I wonder if that's going to be the case. And it looks like they're just going to try and play a little bit more standard. Just meet them right at the beginning. Actually, no, they are oh going my. for the flank. If we look at uh, Bio. Yeah, MZ, Bio there. Going for a little bit of sneaky flank there. I don't think the Saints have any idea that Bio is here. As he spots out, everybody won't find anything yet, but Brandon will be going down. That's definitely a beautiful flank coming up from him as KB is going to drop as well. Saints just not dealing with these flanks at all, it seems like. There's the University of Akron throwing in those tactics that Saints aren't prepared for. And so he's going to find one, and Priestley finds one as well. So actually now with 2v2 in a, in a situation where maybe they should even be in a fighting chance for this round, but Priestley has no idea that it's once to his right. Still, the aggression from the side of University of Akron Akron working out beautifully for them. Now it's going to be Enslaya in a 1v2 scenario. Has no idea where anyone is. Has to be careful not to get shot in the back. Also, only has 30 seconds. Does pick up the bomb as he looks to push a site here now. Has the SMG, has the AR if needed. The plant is going down. I think he's going to be able to get this one down. Let's see how he decides to play the post plant. Yeah, it's going to be risky here. It's a 1v2 situation for him. He has to play a very, very sneakily. That TV stack has to be annoying playing in New Year there. Stops the sound that's really nice loud, but hey, it's a good spot nonetheless. And now one approaches in the room, and he doesn't win the gunfight, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be Akron taking another round against the Saints, closing this gap. The Saints need to win the next one to m maintain their lead. And Saints struggling here on the attack these last few rounds because of the flanks of Akron. They really need to get those uh, on lockdown because if Akron keep flanking like this, and they're going to be able to find these picks over and over. Saints either need to match it with just full-on rushing a site so those flankers can't really do much, or just sitting back and spawn a little bit and waiting those out. But now it's going to be Akron back on the attack. Saints have been flawless so far on defense and looking to take the 4-2 lead here. They're going to take a massive lead here as we want to keep maintaining this there it here. Is. As, wow, there it is. KB finding a nice kill off of it. That's going to be amazing for them. He still has the bomb, very, very slowly, very carefully, but running in between these buildings here. And now, looks like they're going to go for the A site. Unless they want to cross over, they're kind of surrounded on all sides by the Saints. Going to try and take a gunfight first, the odds a little bit. Now, he's in the building. Hey, it's being thrown left and right. It's got to be so stressful for Ensley. You have to have such good trigger discipline there. Just be patient. Wait for 
a foot like that as KB gets shot at by Bowie. They have him locked down in this house, and they don't know how to move out of here. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get out of here. Saints have all side switch. You see Priestley all the way in the spawn of Akron, just making sure nobody is allowed to leave there. He's gonna be able to find Bio as KP takes down Bowie. Thieves gonna be in a 1v4 snare here, and Saints playing these defensive rounds to perfection. Thieves gonna be able to live, uh, try and stay alive for a little bit longer, but will be going down. Saints have not lost a round on defense yet. Definitely their stronger side, but if they can win just one more attacking round, this map should be all she rolled. For them. Yeah, definitely. But even if they don't, they're still in the position yeah. to take this yeah. game. They got that early lead. One of, I think they did win an attacking round yeah. there. So they should, on paper, be the ones to win this one. But it all comes down to the next defense. If Akron can win one, then we're really going to have a game on our hands. And that's just not expecting the Saints to win this one. If they win this one, they'll be in an amazing position. They'll be one point away from taking the series and taking the lead or taking the game and taking the lead in the series. Yep, and it's gonna be, yet again, now slower paced attack from the Saints. They're waiting for these flanks, but now Akron actually not gonna play for those flanks. But as I say that, MZ will find KB. The trade does come out, but that's a nice pickup to have early on into the round. The bomb is down as well. Akron must know that, so they're gonna still hold on to their positions as Saints. Need to find something on the attack here. Playing it really, really slow here. Scared for these flanks. You could see Brandon is making sure there's nobody out in the open there. As finally, Priest is going to be able to pick up that bomb. They're going to look to try and maybe push over towards this B side as Isaiah is looking over. Doesn't see too much, but it's a great defensive round so far from University of Akron. Yeah, great defensive round from Akron. They're really burning the time on the Saints, making them go for these panic plays. They're going to have to do one soon as there's only 25 seconds left in the round. Yeah, it's gonna be a shot coming out from Bowie onto Enslea as it is falling apart now for the Saints. They don't have any time to work with. Priestley gonna have to go around the corner here and find a one. Doesn't find anything. And it takes five seconds to plant, so it's not like he can just plant once the timer stops. Brandon gonna find a trade onto Thieves, but only has five seconds left to find two kills. It's gonna be nearly impossible. University of Akron able to get the win on the defensive side as they put themselves within one round of the Saints. And now from what we've been seeing from Akron, we expected that round to go that way. Way. They just really figured out their defensive side, but they have to figure out their attacking side soon. Now, St. Clair on the defense once again is looking to be very, very strong. We haven't seen them lose around yet, but you know, there's always room for improvement on both sides. We'll see if Akron will be the one to even this match up. Let's see what Akron choose to do on the attack. Looks like maybe a four stack towards B. Doesn't sound too crazy. Nothing's really worked for them so far, so throwing a curveball at the Saints could definitely be the way to play. But Fee is actually going to rotate all the way back into that back of A. And so, yeah, we'll get taken down low by a grenade, but nobody is there to follow up on that damage. Brandon's still going to be sitting here. The car I thought I was going to blow him up, but did not, thankfully. So he will still be alive. Another car explodes, but KB is just going to be looking over that one. It looks like University of Akron have a bit of room onto this A site. They might try to get this plant down, but we've seen how good the Saints are in these post-plant scenarios. We're going to opt to not put that plant down just yet still trying to find some room to maneuver with but it looks like Akron are just completely stuck they have no idea what to do Inslea does spot out the bomb should be able to take it out right there some missed shots though from Inslea the bomb's gonna get onto the site Inslea is actually gonna go down here that's a huge huge mistake there from him as KB falls as well it looks like University of Akron are finally gonna take their first attacking round I know they're looking amazing right now after a little bit of misplay from the Saints. They are exploding it to full effect. And now with Bomb down, it's all down to Priestley and Brandon. But Priestley finds, or Brandon finds one. He find another, he goes down. Or Priestley's gonna go down. Now Brandon, last man standing. It's a 1v3 situation. He's gonna go for a last ditch effort, trying to find a kill, trying to find something, anything. But does he know there's a man behind this Barry? He's gonna take it very slowly and he gets a kill, but hey, his friend is guarding his back. And that is going to be Akron, evening up the point line. Very, very unfortunate round for the Saints. They had the lockdown. Akron had nothing to do, but Priestley just could not find that opening pick. Bowie with his 11th kill of the game, having an amazing performance as we are all tied up at 4 AP Saints. Uh, had that 4-2 lead, but last two rounds taken by Akron. 
putting themselves in a scenario to put, take the map home. Let's see what Saints decide to do on the attack here. And they need this attack now more than ever. You want to get that lead back as now the tempo is going in Akron's favor. They're setting up trophy systems as well. This one's going to be tough to push. On Maui getting a pick right out of the gate. Saints having a really rough start here. Now they almost find one to even odds, but MZ gonna find two more. And now it's just down to end Slayer. And this is looking like Akron might take this one. They will take uh, the round flawlessly there as our Saints just falling apart here towards the later parts of this SND, losing three in a row. They need to really lock back in and take these last two rounds to take them up. But otherwise, Akron going to put themselves in a scenario where they can take the whole series home. And if you're uh, on the Saints right now, definitely some nerves kicking in. You had that nice 4-2 lead in the search and destroy. You were cruising, but right now you're facing map point. You have to be perfect. Let's see how our Saints can live up. Now is the time to lock in, and now is the time to get that perfect offense back in order. And that almost screwed up as he almost died right out of the gate there. The long-range shots doing a lot of damage, but he manages to get out. Now they're facing off each other on this long-range engagement. Saints holding tight corners, trying to block as any approach from Akron. Now we see KB taking this long-range sniper fight here. Quite a good kill though, but he gets the damage, making a move here. Now Akron taking this one slow and steady, trying to race. Drop down, gunshots everywhere. This is just such a long range style of defense from the Saints. And it's kind of working out, it's keeping Akron at bay right now. I mean, it's worked for basically the entire map, other than one misslip on the defense. They've been playing very, very well defensively so far, the Saints have, as Brandon is now sitting back behind this car. He's gonna see at least a couple players here. Nice shots there on to Bio. Won't find the kill just yet. The Whimsy, though, will find the opening pick on KB. Bowie finds Brandon, and Insight gonna fall down to Thieves, so it's gonna be a 1v4 for Breezy, just like that. He's gonna be able to find one, but will get taken out. We're gonna be going to at least four maps in this series as University of Akron tapped the series at one apiece. And that has to, we knew the Saints are not the best at SD, but we still expected them to win. They're just playing so well. And, you know, up until Akron won that attacking round, they were looking pretty good. It was 4 2, like you said. Saints not too far from winning it, but Akron really perfected the defense and then perfected the attack and then. Saints really couldn't keep up, and that's why SMD is their worst game mode. We just saw it right there. Yeah, and now some nerves gonna kick in for the Saints because if you drop one more map, you you're gonna be playing that search and destroy map for that map five. And after losing one of those maps, you don't want to go back to the game mode. Saints gonna need to win these two next game modes. Uh, it's gonna be. Control and hard points, so two respawn game modes, two game modes which they are very, very strong at. They're still going to be feeling very, very confident in taking this series, and uh, I think they have a very good chance at taking this one 3 1. Yeah, but if they lose any of these maps, it's looking very dicey going into the next couple games. But before that, we're going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be right back with game three.
Hello, everybody. After a loss in SD, the Saints are gearing up for this game three. I'm rhyming, but not all the time, as we're here in control. As a Packard looking to try and take this next game. The Saints need this one. They don't want this to go to another SD. And look at that. It's looking like they're off to a hot start. They're going to be starting off hot, getting the first three kills of the round. It's going to be Saints on the on the attack from the look of things. University of Akron on defense, and right now Saints going for that split push as we saw yesterday, trying to take that A site very early on, which is the harder one to take by far. They have a couple members on. They're going to find one tick already. Going to look for the second tick as well as University of Akron are sending the whole squad to defend this one. Brandon going to get stunned out. All the nades coming out. Precy though will be able to find thieves. It looks like Saints are going to be able to take the A control immediately and that's a great start to the map this B side is a lot easier to take than the A side it's gonna be University of Action needed to play two minutes of a perfect defense Priestley does fall very very early on Bio's gonna get turned out by Brandon KP gonna fall so the initial stop is there University of Action are gonna settle in a little bit have some time to regroup after such a quick hit from the Saints that's what they're gonna find one though can he find a second here no every kill that University of Akron gets is way more important than the Saints because the Spawns favor the defensive side in this game, but still lives are looking good for the side of the Saints. 22 to 18. Brandon gonna find a pick onto Bow there. KB gonna find Bio as well, but there is MZ sitting in the spawn picking up Enslayer. That's gonna be a big pick. Peeves gonna find Brandon as well as KB finds the trade, but MZ gonna go into five kills speed now, turning it up after a 0 3 start. Will finally go down to the Saints, but Saints are not able to make any any uh, progress so far. It's been a minute and they haven't even stepped onto the site. As long as they keep getting these trades, though, they can try and drain Akron of their lives, but they're gonna have to start moving even quicker as there's only a minute or so left. They need to start making progress, they need to start getting these kills. Bios and spawn. Right, Bio is in spawn. He has a long way back here as the Saints are all tightly knit together here on this point. They're starting to make progress. One is still up oh, above nice. them, but they managed to take him out. And now, the Saints, very good progress and a very good position The Akron needs to push them off here. And that's going to be a tick a taken at least here by the Saints from the look of things. KB finding some incredibly good shots there. There it is. He's going to find one more. Peeves does, uh, is going to look for the shots there. MZ, though, going to go down. And Nacho Sayo is going to go down, but Bowie and and uh, Bowie and Bayou are going to find a couple of kills there. That's going to halt the Saints' progress. Brandon going to go down as well. Still only eight lives remaining here for University of Akron. Two lives per player in 40 seconds. It's going to be very, very interesting how the end of this round goes. Almost taken down by the Nays there. That would have been crucial. You can see Saints are all just sitting in their spawn, waiting to get pushed. University of Akron, for some reason, just pushing through when they only have so many lives remaining. 25 seconds and counting. No kills count with the kill, found with the kill streak there, unfortunately, for the Saints. As they're going to look to rush in by MZ on the God tier flank here. How many will he be able to find? Finds one, finds the second as KB took down his teammate as well. That's going to be a team wipe coming out from University of Akron. It's going to be final push territory from the Saints here. They do find Bowie, but they need to get on this side quickly. Bio's going to be able to find one. Can he find a second? Thieves not going to be able to find anything, but Bio and MZ finding it's going to be only KB left on this side. All on his lonesome. Can he do the miracle plays? No, he won't be able to. First round going over to University of Akron. And that is a little bit bit of an upset there, or a lot of bit of an upset, as the Saints really don't want to lose this respawn game mode. You know, they lose this one, sure they can win the next one, it's going to come down to S and D last, and that is not what they want to see here. So now, the rhythm is set for Akron to take this one, if it's trades back and forth. But I believe the Saints might be able to dig deep, turn this one around, they see a win two back to back, and then they're in the lead. This is it. The attack is always a little bit more difficult, yes. I find, on these control maps. Absolutely. The attack is uh, by far the more difficult game. Where you want to win your rounds on defense. If you win on attack, that's kind of a bonus. It looks like University of Akron going to rush on to this uh, B site to start off the game. But Brandon going to find a couple picks. That's going to halt their process. They're only going to get a tick there. So Saints having a lot more success at the beginning of the attacking round uh, last time. Instantly capping that A site. Enslayer on 30 HP doesn't get caught 
Wild Out somehow will pick up a couple kills there as Priestley and uh, Nacho say is just gonna find everything they want here. But you see Akron struggling to even get a kill as their five street coming up from Nacho. So you can see Saints are not happy they lost that last round. Now it's gonna be University of Akron getting spawn camped here. Bio finally gonna find that kill on Ensaya, but a great, great start to the defense for the Saints. They're up seven lives and nothing going here for University of Akron. Akron has one tick, but the Saints are just in complete control of this defense right now. Now Bauer can find one, can find another, can't quite find it though as MZ finds going to one. A. Now they're going to go for a last ditch effort over to A, and looks like they're going to make good progress as all the Saints are poised to defend B, but look at that, Priestley and Brandon and KB finding picks. Bio just going to open that up just a little bit more, but it's not going to be enough. Only 20 seconds remaining back on the B side. It's gonna stop the timer by a little bit more time for themselves. Oh, look at the flank coming out from KB though. On a huge, huge flank. Nobody from the side of Akron knows that he's there. He's gonna be able to be able to find a one. Two ticks go over to B, but Brandon and Priest are gonna find a couple kills, and that's probably gonna be the round. MZ is gonna be able to find one. The trade should come out here from Brandon. Nice shots from him. Looking for the melee. MZ actually can find that one, but KB and Insight are gonna find two picks, 10 seconds and counting. Only 11 lives left for the side of Akron. They do get on this a site though on the flip side of the map it's the second time we've seen them uh, try and pull this one off they're gonna get at least one tick going here but with 10 lives left nine lives left they're dropping like fly saints definitely looking like they're gonna be taking this one peeves does find a trade Bobby. but brandon gets the kill they're five seconds and ticking they're gonna be all rushing into this b site but kb won't actually find that one as the cap might be coming through here but nobody is gonna be on it no overtime ticked as saint Clair college on the defensive side gonna take that round a great round from the Saints, but you could tell Akron was very crafty there. They almost switched that up by altering A, B, A, B. So finally got that A, or that B site cleared. Now going into this one, the Saints desperately need an attacking win. It's going to be very difficult, but I believe if they win this B site, this, they'll have this game in the bag. Without a doubt, I have to agree. They're going to go for that kind of B A split again, but only one member now on this A push, only Enslayer. So let's see what they can get done on the attacking side. They're going to be able to get onto B site with relative ease. Nobody from the receive Akron going to be here to defend it. Babawi is going to find a pick, and Nacho Slayer going to be here. Will go down. That's a crucial kill. Still on this B site, Saints are dropping like flies as well. So a slower start to the attack for them again as Thieves going to find the trade onto Brand there. Babawi does get stuck on that one, will get taken down. Now Saints right back on his B side. Nacho Slayer 2 HP. Will be able to survive. That's so, so crucial for the Saints. Here's Thieves going to look for it. Angle there through that one. Brandon will pick up by It looks like Saints have full control of this B site. The University of Akron are just falling like flies. It's a great start to the attack. Now, is they're going to be able to capture this B site, but taking this A site is definitely going to be very, very hard against the defense. Yeah, this is going to be very difficult here. Sure, they got the B site, but it's always that A site, that last remaining site. It's just so tough to crack here. Now we're in the interior here, KB. Missile duel. Now we move all back over. It's not going to go well for him, though, as his teammate is there to clutch that one out. Now it's just gunfights all around this map. Trying to find the high ground, but gets caught out by Thieves there. Now the Saints unable to find a way to this Akron defense. And Akron seem to be so good when they need to just defend one site, when they don't need to split up their attention. They're finding kills left and right. Actually, up on the lives remaining for, I want to say, the first time on this map. It seems like Saints have definitely been out fragging them, but that's going to be a nice kill from Bio. The trade comes out, but Bio going to find the trade onto Brandon as well. So, two for one trade there. Great, great gameplay from Akron so far. Saints are struggling to get out of spawn here. They need to find an entry kill here, but there's MZ all the way on the outside gonna pick up and slayer there and it's gonna halt the process the progress of the saints now only a minute or left they haven't made any progress here on this say finally they find a pick but the trade comes out from bowie and all they need to do is find these one for ones and then the game becomes very very simple 
Nice pick there from Bowie again. Nice straight from KB though, and Priestley gonna find an extra pick. So maybe now some room to work with for the Saints, but Thieves in such a dangerous position will take down KB. The trade will come out here from Enslayer, but still losing that one for one is never worth it for the attacking side. It's gonna be MZ though, going down the spawn of Saints now finally gonna make so much room here. Brandon though will fall down as Bowie is gonna be able to survive. No, he won't be. Priestley finds the trade. It looks like Bio is on that A side. Finally, Saints gonna move up a little bit, but still, Priestley falling down, Enslaya falling down, and this is looking very tragic for the Saints. KB gonna find a double melee on the site, not something you see too often, but he will be going down as well alongside Brandon with 10 lives remaining and no time on the clock. MZ is in the spawn, finding a two piece there in the middle. It looks like University of Action will be taking this around and putting themselves on map point. One final push gonna come out from the Saints, but they can't even leave their spawn. They know they're gonna lose this one with two seconds left. That's gonna be all she wrote. University of Akron on the defensive side playing it's well again, but we see how hard it is to attack on this map. It is so difficult, so it's not gonna be, a g it's probably not gonna go Akron's way next time. It possibly could, but it's definitely gonna be a hard fought battle and just with how the pace of the game is going, this game is looking to go Akron's way. It's up to the Saints to try and hold this one out. Sure, they may, they're probably going to win this defensive half, but it's all about that last attacking half. They need to win that one or else. I think Akron. it's a flip, whoever gets the attack and defense in the last one, actually. Oh, is it? I think so. Oh, it's gonna come down to a coin flip yeah. then. As the Saints do not want to go to the s and This person getting the first kill started off the round pretty well. Now Brent getting another. The defense of the Saints is always very strong, but Bio is gonna get another kill in return. The trade comes out from KB, as you could, as you said, Saints defense has been basically flawless so far in this game. They didn't even give up one point last time, so Akron have no clue what to do. And Slaya is in the spawn again, gonna find Bio there. The trade should come out, however, from one. MZ gonna find KB, Peeves gonna find And Slaya. Priestley has to be careful not to go down here. It's gonna be University of Akron on this B site. They're gonna get at least a tick going here. Saints are gonna go for the re-push. Bio gonna fall down to Priestley in mid. That's massive. And Slaya gonna pick up MZ. Peeves does find Brandon, but now nobody's on this B side. Peeves gonna find a second KB though in such a power position. Gonna find Bowie. Beautiful shots there through such a tight space. The Saints gonna hold on for the initial initial push. Yeah, this is going to go well for the Saints. Brandon finding another kill. Differentiation is five right now. As Bio gonna even that one up just a little bit though. Now the trades come out once again. Akron making decent progress over on B. Trying to open set up just a bit more but the defense from the Saints is very very strong just making sure slowly but surely about he's on a five kill streak and now Saints looking good but they're making a lot of good progress over on B and Slayer gonna be on the monster flank here will find one does get taken down and it looks like the B side should be captured here by University of Akron barring a big a big throw but that might be it they, they didn't get the capture it's at like 99% and it's gonna be a team wipe for the Saints and that could just be the round over right there maybe a loss of composure there from Akron as they should have definitely had the capture there but they're gonna have one final attack at it here Priestley gonna find a huge opening frag as he's gonna find a second KB finds one as well and that's gonna be all she wrote for this round. Yes, uh, MZ is gonna get onto that A side. It's gonna be a bit of a bait play here and hoping that Saints kind of take their eye off B and they can sneak in and take that B side, but they don't have much time to work with. Only 0 0.6 seconds, but the picks come out. You can see three members on that B side. Will they be able to force their way onto their wow. Enslaya with a triple kill? Will clutch that one up still. They get some progress onto the A side. Only seven lives remaining. It's only MZ sitting here, but only one member from the Saints is coming for the recontest. Enslaya though won't be able to find a pick here. There's gonna be a couple of picks coming out from Bio. KB will be able to take down MZ on the A side, but now wow. the B side will be secured still only six lives remaining for University of Akron Saints need to not panic but it's a couple ticks almost a couple ticks on to it actually they're gonna be able to withhold that one now University of Akron know they only have six lives it's still gonna be a very hard round to win still they saved themselves from a guaranteed loss right now they're still in this race just a bit longer sure they don't have too many lives here but it's looking like it might just be doable for them Peeps finds one, and now we move over to Enslay, finding another. MZ finds another, just trying to even these oh, kill lines, and they no just way. might as they find three. All and four. now the site is open. They're just gonna flood in there and start to make progress. No way. 
No way, Akron is starting to take this one back, getting another tick on A, only one more remains, they're halfway there, no more respawns on Akron, Brandon fighting one, Thieves fighting That's another, it. and that is Akron taking the game, and this is all gonna be decided in either the next game, or... This might go to S and D. That was an insane clutch from Akron. I don't know how they pulled that one together, but Saints definitely gonna be unhappy with the way things pushed out. It was just Akron six lives to fourteen. You think this is gonna be unwinnable, but they killed four in a row, five in a row, six in a row. Took that A side and took the map. Definitely not something that the Saints expected to happen there, but. Now they're going to be facing against a match point. We're going to be going to hard point next. It's definitely in the first map. We saw how strong the Saints all are. But you could see maybe a little bit of tilt come into fruition after losing a couple maps that they probably shouldn't. Yeah. So even if they do win this hard point, they're gonna, it's all going to come down to proving themselves in this S&D. But hey, we expected them to win control. So maybe Akron has even more tricks up their sleeves yeah. to win this next hard point. But... You know, you got to applaud the mental on the side of Akron yeah. for being down to six lives. You're pretty much on the ropes here. No time left. But they still kept calm, kept locked in, and they managed to strategize a way to win that one out. Yeah, without a doubt, Akron need to be handed their flowers from an unwinnable scenario, somehow pulling it out and taking the lead in the series. Now, we're going to be on match point, hard point. If they can take this one that's going to be a huge huge option uh saints definitely their strongest game what i would say is a hard point they they play the fast paced game most just the best i feel like in almost all of collegiate so still i think saints need to keep their heads up need to stay mentally uh, locked in and i think they can still come back to win the series absolutely so potentially next series point for akron or the saints will bring us to a decisive final game we will have more <laughs> we'll have that and more after a quick break
Hello, everybody. After a massive upset there in control, Akron is looking at to maybe take this whole series here if they manage to win at this hard point. But hey, Saints love hard point, and as you can see, they're already in control here. Yeah, this is going to be a hot start here for the Saints, just like always on hard point. Uh, uh, game mode that they are definitely expected to win by quite a fine uh, margin. They're going to get onto this hard point early, and it looks like University of Akron just have no answer to start off the map. 21 points and counting here for the Saints, but the, tra the pick comes out onto KB early. Brandon Priestley, though, getting a couple back. MZ, though, going to find a double now. It's going to be all on Priestley here on the flank. Won't be able to find that one. Will go around the corner, picks that one up, almost finds the second as KB is going to find the trade there. You can see in the fast paced game mode Saints definitely turning it up a notch here but University of Akron gonna get these final two three seconds as it's gonna be a 15 point lead after the first hard point. Yeah they're looking to be good here 15 point lead gonna carry this earlier here but hey Akron already in the <laughs> already in control of this hard point gonna lose it up pretty quickly though. KB on the flank it's gonna have to find that kill onto Bayo and will do so that's gonna give the Saints very very good spawns as you can see actually no it won't somehow Bayo gonna spawn right behind KB and will take him out of spawn as the rest of the action going on on the point now Saints gonna have the bad spawns here and looks like University of Akron have put themselves in a beautiful position to take all 60 seconds of this one but inside and Brandon have something to say about that one as it's gonna be all Saints in the kill feed they're gonna find a huge huge retake here still might be one more contest coming out from Akron, but if they're going to be spawning on the other side of the map. Somehow MZ ends up all the way behind every single Saint. Does he spot out anyone? Yes, he finds one, finds the second, as it's going to be good rotations here coming out from Akron. They're going to be able to take control and spawn of the next hard point as they look to put themselves in the lead. Yeah, they're looking to put themselves in the lead, and that I think is the first time they've been in the lead in terms of hard points, and now the Saints trying to scramble to get this one back. Another trade comes out, and Akron in control of this hard point and just sticking it. Getting so many points on the board here. The Saints are trying to scramble here to get back in the lead. See Priestley is taking a very important 1v2. Does find one, KP finds one as well as it looks like Saints playing the retake game perfectly. Priestley does go down, but Enslay and Brandon gonna find a couple picks and Saints get the good spawns. They're gonna get the good respawns here. They're gonna get onto the site and take the lead back. I don't even think University of Akron are gonna be able to find a push here to retake some time on this objective, but they're gonna try with 19 seconds and taking. They're gonna look for some early kills here to start it off, but MZ will fall down to Brandon. The trade comes out from Brandon. Bowie could tell University of Akron definitely playing a lot better than they were in the first map. Bowie gonna find a kill on the inside. They're gonna get this garbage time as the next hardpoint spawns in. KB gonna get taken down yet again. Priestley gonna find a nice pick onto Thieves and it's gonna be able to hold this high ground as Insta is gonna take down MZ. But Saints looking to get themselves in a bit of a bigger lead here. Akron doing a great job of staying close. Akron doing a good job at keeping pace with the Saints down this hard point. You can tell they're riding the momentum of the last game. And now the Saints just one point behind Akron. No one is on this hard point. And it is a death sentence to be out there in the open. Yeah, but Slayer, no way he can win that gunfight. Will still be alive though, how, somehow. Priestley and KB gonna find a couple picks. KB gonna find a second. Brandon gonna go down to Bowie, but Saints holding down this middle hard point. KB, oh, now gonna find a third. Nice shots there from Bowie. Will get taken down by Priestley. As Saints get control of the objective yet again. Priestley does go down. MZ finds Enslayer again. It looks like University of Akron are trying to get into this one. This is such a close game. We're tied up at 72 apiece. Definitely not what we were expecting. KB gonna be able to find one. Does he have any idea that the second is? right behind the wall here. Thieves going to be finding a pick on to Priestley. KB has no idea where that player is. MZ in a beautiful position. Going to find the garbage time for University of Akron as they take a 12-point lead heading into the next hard point. It's going to be a pick coming out from Thieves. It's going to be all on him here in the back line, but he will go down to Priestley as KB finds a couple. Saints now going to have a lot of time and space to work with here. Bio going to be able to find one, however, so the retake going to start coming through here from the side of Akron. He's going to look for a second pick here as Bowie actually picks up KB. Still a couple member from the Saints here on the point. But Bayo going to find a second. As it's a full retake from Akron. Bowie taking down the team all by him. Lonesome as Akron find the full retake. They wow. get the good positioning. It's all on KB here in the back line. Needs to find this kill. Does get traded out, however. So it's going to be the good spawns coming out from Akron. They should get th these last 20 seconds relatively easy as they're looking to take this fourth map home.
Yeah, they're looking to take this one home, but the Saints are keeping this very competitive. This is going to come down to the wire. Sure, they're still 10 points ahead, but Akron just getting every little bit of time that they can to get the edge on the Saints is going to take them the win with how close this is. Now, they're about 10 points in the lead here. Who will stretch into the lead even further? The Saints are going to close this gap. Priestley funds one. Now, Bio's going to go in. Priestley funds two. And now, Priestley's going to try and take cover. Get finally gets taken out by MC. But Brandon going to take him down. And this trades all across the map right now as the Saints are racking up points, looking to take themselves in the lead here. Saints will happily take those trades as they're on the hard point. Now, going to put themselves back into the lead. KB here is able to find one. Will get out with his life. Going to look for the second. Switches weapons there as he will go down Bali on by finding a couple, but still Saints maintaining this objective. Akron just have no idea what to do. It feels like on this first objective, they just can't seem to compete with the Saints on this one. It looks like Priestley's on 70 HP here. Will go for the push with the pistol. Beautiful shot there from his KB and Brandon got his back. Bowie now gonna get onto this site. Has to be careful not to go down the garbage time. Will be picked up here by University of Akron, but Saints put themselves in the lead. They're gonna have the good spawns for this next objective. And then on this flank will be able to find probably a couple picks as I don't think University of Akron have any idea that he is there. There it is. And so gonna find one onto MZ. Gonna look to find a second. Pulls out the pistol. Won't be able to find it, but still, this entire time, Saints have the objective. It looks like they've finally set their foot down in this hard point game. Yeah, they are locking in right here. They are in the lead and they're getting that momentum back that they sorely missed. And now he concusses himself, but that's fine. He's still gonna shake that one off and keep going. As Prissy finds one, We're getting so much time on this hard point, stretching into a massive lead here. Bio gonna find one, gonna find a second, can't quite find it though in the long range. And Chuck and Nate try and find something. Get the kill though, as Brandon finds one through the wall. And the Saints getting a 50 point lead on Akron is going to be huge here. As they're just able to hold down this one hard point this entire time. I think Enslayer hasn't even stepped off this one since it's been opened up. As as you said, it's going to be a huge, huge lead here now for the Saints. University of Akron kind of fell apart on that one, but now it's their turn to hold on for dear life. They're going to be on this site early, but let's see if Saints are going to be able to get the good spawns. Yes, they will. They all come in on the flank. It's going to need to be flawless gunfights here from University of Akron if they want to take this map back. MZ and P is going to find the first few picks. Brandon gonna pick one up, but still the good spawns come out for St. Clair. Brandon with a huge second kill will be able to keep his life as now they're gonna push into the site here. Priest is gonna pick that one up. That's gonna be a lot of points going over back to the Saints. That's gonna be hard for University of Akron to get back into this one. Yeah, this is going to be hard for them as well as the Saints are looking to get even more hard points here. And now it's like, it's like a fun one. And find another, can't quite find it as Akron is just all down right now. They have every angle locked out. Go to the Renetti, finding one. MC gonna find one of the long range, but he's not gonna find another. It gets shut down by the Saints once again. And now Saints just barely away from one full hard point victory. <laughs> if they could just hold it down all the way to the end, they'll be that close. Or they will be got yeah. a victory point here. This one's really hard to lock down though. You can see University of Akron finding a couple picks here and there. They're going to get control of the objective. Inslayer though on a six spree just completely destroying University of Akron. They have no answer for him right now as he's putting on a show still. Hardpoint will get secured here. But University of Akron but Bowie playing a bit too aggressively will fall down. Saints now going to get control of that one. Looking to take that one home Thieves looking to find KB, won't be able to find it. Priestly gonna look for some shots, but this is still fine for the Saints. Nobody's on the hard point, and the time is still ticking down. And so they're gonna find some beautiful shots there. Priestly finds a third, and that's gonna give Saints a lot more time on this hard point. They're gonna put themselves within a 30, if I had to guess, maybe even 20. Let's see if the contest comes out from University of Akron. Priestly still on this side, does fall to an eight, so they are 30 points away from victory, but. All green in the kill feed right now. Brandon gonna look for a shot there. We're gonna find the next hard point. Gonna come through Saints. Have the good spawns, have control of the map, and they're gonna look to close out the map here. Okay, look, we're closing out right here. Akron gonna go for one last ditch effort with a point differential. This is so massive right now. It's gonna be a massive gap for them to close. Nearly a hundred points away from victory. The Saints though, just 20 away. Everyone gonna close this one out in the next few seconds. And now Akron taking control back. Gonna try and play a little bit of catch up. The Saints feeling the pressure. Don't want it to slip through their grasp once again. It's gonna need to be a miracle here from Akron, if not more than that, to take this map home. Priest and Slayer gonna find the pick there. They're gonna get onto the site. 
15 seconds and ticking. Priest is gonna find one more, finds the trade onto KB there. And with 10 seconds left, they should be able to close out the map here unless uh, University of Akron pull off a miracle stop here. We see KB gonna hold down that crossfire two seconds away. That's gonna be all she wrote. St. Clair College gonna win the fourth map and push it to a decisive map five against University of Akron. Yeah, great showing from the Saints and great showing from Akron there as well. They really were more competitive in this uh, hard point than they were in the first. But the Saints really proved the knowledge and mastery over these respawn game ones right here. And wow, I just I mean, what? It couldn't be a more perfect way to make this game end. It's going to come down to S and D. Saints need to regain their momentum in the in their worst game, or they need to go for the redemption. Yeah, without a doubt, they kind of they had the last S and D right in their hands, but kind of slipped away from them. I think, especially with this group of players, they're going to be able to lock in, and when it matters most, they're going to be able to clutch up. I, I have them taking this search and destroy. I think they're going to be able to take it, but Akron showing that they are dangerous, showing that they can also pull off the upset. So I think Saints are going to be confident, but they're going to have in the back of their mind that idea that they could get upset here. Exactly. And as we're about to get in to our final match, it's S&D, the redemption match. The players are locking in. They're discussing who will be the one who goes up against Northwood in the grand finals questions will be answered in the next game so after a quick break we'll see you there And now here we are, a decisive game five, Akron v. St. Clair. They've played each other in the past, and I believe the Saints 3 0 them last time, but now it's come down to this. It's all on the line. Who will win this loser's finals and who will go home? It's all going to be decided right now. It's here on S and D. And last time, University of Akron were down 4 2 on the search and destroy, but brought back four rounds in a row and took it home earlier in the series, so that's gonna be still in the back of the Saints' mind, but hopefully they can forget that that ever happened. The plant instantly gonna go down from University of Akron. Great start for them as Saints love playing this post-plant scenario. KB actually won't be able to find any shots there, but will find the opening kill onto Thieves, living on five HP. That's a crucial, crucial pick for the Saints to start off. Priestley with the SMG will have to go on the aggressive here, but will fall down to Bowie, who's still relatively healthy on 92 HP. Will be able to find the reset. The time is ticking for the Saints. They need to pick it up a little bit as somehow MZ is gonna end up on the flank. Bowie gonna find one, almost found the second there. Still Bowie staying alive. Look at the flank coming out from MZ though. I don't think they have any idea that he's in this middle position. Gonna be looking to hold it down. 12 seconds and taking and that's gonna be the first round going over to the Saints. They're playing a little bit too slowly on the retake, allowing University of Akron to take beautiful positions. But Bowie has to take uh, a lot of credit for that round. Found three kills as MZ found the only, the one that mattered the most, the final one. 
they take a 1-0 lead. And you can feel how confident Akron is going into this game. They are just looking so good. They won the last S&D. They're just playing with so much comfortability. They're not stressing all too much about this. And I feel an air of excitement emanating off of them. They want to be able to go into this Grand Finals and finally get the win over on the Saints. But hey, now with the Saints starting attack, they're going to be able to make this yeah, we saw last time both teams struggling heavily on the attack. Looks to be different. Now as Brandon's gonna find a pick on to Thieves who definitely overextended their inner one before. Scenario, nice picks coming out from the Saints. But I was gonna find one on the flank, but this is gonna be a very, very quick attacking round for the Saints. They're gonna take a 1-1 one, one, uh, in this map. Kind of in the blink of an eye. I didn't expect it to finish that quickly. Uh, University of Akron tried the flanking strategies again, but Saints this time put the pressure on. They just went at that site with all four members, took out the player there, and then once the flanks came in, it was just too late as they had the numbers advantage. Uh, that was an amazing round from the Saints on the attack, but they still need to win one of these defense rounds to get themselves in the lead, get themselves on pace to take this game. It's right now Akron on the attack once again. If they can get the plant and repeat what they did in the first round, should be taking this one as well. It's like getting in position to Saints. Play the post plant once again. Party to be with their lives. That's gonna be a double flank here coming out. MC does spot it out, but Bowie will be falling down first to Enslayer. That's a great start to the round for the Saints that they have. The numbers advantage, Peeves. Gonna nice pick onto KB there. Will somehow make it out with his life as well. That's a crucial, crucial pickup. Still getting chased down so, so deep. Priestley now has to win this one on one. Will take down Peeves as now to Saints in a 3 2 scenario. The Bomb is near B, but Bio not going to be planting that one just yet as MZ going to take a very dangerous approach there, will be able to stay alive. Bio's going to go on the aggressiveness here, won't look to play too slowly. That door is closed though, so Anacho Slayer should be able to find one. No, does not find it. The trades though come out from Bran. He's going to find a double kill there, and that's going to be another round going to the Saints as they take the 2-1 advantage. Yeah, the Saints needed that win now more than ever. Now they can just sit comfortably on the attack rounds. And the lead. This is much more, this is a much cleaner SD than I've ever seen from the Saints before. Yeah, I mean, Brandon is on fire right now, 5 and 1, definitely putting the team on his back a little bit here in these first few rounds. But so we saw last time, Saints can't get too overconfident because Akron can strike quickly and strike fast, and they're gonna look to do so on the defensive. And it looks like Saints finally gonna go for a mid push, not something they've done on the offense so far. Priestley sitting up here with the SMG, has the bomb as well, so would be bad if he dies in this position, but nobody is gonna be pushing him uh, as Akron are playing a bit more passive than they were last time. They're not sending those deep flanks around this time, but as I say that, it looks like MZ and Bowie both gonna go on mega flanks here. There is an though, making sure that nothing too crazy comes through a Saints. Should it look to push through, Bio will go down. That's gonna be full control of this B site. Let's see if S Saints can get the plant uh, down. Yes, they will. Nacho Slayer like picks up. MZ as Saints have a 4v2 scenario. Again, they should be able to take this round and put themselves at a huge, huge advantage. KB is gonna fall down to Bowie, but still, now they have information of where that player is. Thieves will fall down now. It's going to be Bowie in the 1v3. Almost impossible to win. This one will find a 1, but still not enough time, I think, to find the defuse. Now as Saints know exactly where he is. He's going to try and go for a miracle uh, play here, but Saints playing the clock beautifully are more than likely going to be taking this one. He will fall down. Saints going to take the 3-1 advantage as they look to take this map 5. Yeah, they're looking to take this map five in a record pace. These rounds are going by so quick. Both teams playing up very, very offensive. Now there's Priestley on the final kill. And we're seeing a lot of bomb plants as well. It seems like the strategy on this map is just play the retake. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Bowie's trying to carry University of Akron's back here, has six kills, but the rest of his team not doing too much to help him out. As Brandon still doing a great, great job with six kills on the side of St. Clair. It's going to be a push coming through mid from a KB. And that's a beautiful flash. Can maybe they catch Bio? No, they won't. KB actually going to drop very early on. As Saints may be playing a bit too aggressive here, walking up mid. But nice kill there from Priestley. Will get one back. The plant does go down, however. So Saints going to need to play the retake here. Thieves going to get stunned up as well. Is anyone going to be there to find the kill? No, Brandon going to find some crucial tags. Knows where there's a couple members now from University of Akron. So that means that all 
all on his lonesome in his bio all the way across the map. Beam's gonna check on the bomb and will go down, kind of just running into the open there. It's a weird post plant defense that they're playing here. MZ does have an angle here, but they could just stick the defuse here, and I don't think anyone from Akron would be able to spot it out. MZ does fall down, and bio is all the way across the map. Does he have a, maybe a miracle angle? 13 seconds, 12 seconds. He does get spotted out, does find the bomb diffuser, but with just enough time, Saints will find the defuse and put themselves up a 4 1 in the series. Yeah, 4 1. The Saints are looking to take this one, but hey, we've seen crazier things. It was 4 to 2 when Akron really started to take this one back, but. Just on paper, just from the gameplay we've seen, St. Clair looking at a very strong on this map, looking to take this one. Yeah, Brandon finding his eighth kill of the game. Definitely playing clutch in this decisive map. Five switching sides is going to be Saints on the attacking side now. Let's see what they decide to do here. Are they going to play for that mid control? Or are they going to make their way over towards that A site, which worked so well for them in the opening attacking round? Looks like A is going to be the option here. Double defenders from Akron split up on B and A. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Priest has to be careful around that car so it doesn't get blown up and take him out. He will be able to stay alive. Thieves. Very aggressive defensive position up behind that white truck. Will Baby be able to find one? KB drops again. Won't be able to find anything there. It's a nice start for University of Akron on this defensive side. Saints haven't been able to make up too much room. Priestley going to go up here. Going to look for a pick. Nice shot from him onto Bowie as he ties up the numbers here. But Priestley going a bit too aggressive. The trade comes out though from Enslayer. Still a 2v2 here. Very, very winnable for the Saints. Should be able to maybe get this plant down as no Nobody from University of Akron is here, but it looks like Saints going to look to back up and maybe make their way over towards the B site. Looks like they want that B site. It's a little less out in the open as that A site, but it's still very tough to get to nonetheless. The time is ticking. It's going to be MZ guarding this B site. And now he's already going on the prowl, going on the offensive, going for a flank, maybe routing back up to his teammate, expecting the last ditch A push, but no, you're going to play the retake once again. Now, Saints gonna get the plant over on B. It's up to Akron here to the defuse. Yeah, Saints definitely uh, playing the mind games there and Akron thinking they were gonna go towards that A site. Now Saints have the 2v2 scenario. You can see Akron, both players stacked on top of one another. Even if one loses a gunfight, you need to be there to find that trade. They spot out Brandon. I don't know if Brandon has any idea that they found him there. I don't think he does. He's gonna get flanked and kill killed in the back here. Bio should be able to run through this door and find Brandon there. It is now it's a 1v2 scenario for Enslea. It's gonna be a hard one to win, but not impossible. Not that much time left on the clock and you could see University of Akron gonna start the defuse now let's see if he can find the shots on defuse yes he will and that should be the round beautiful shots there from inside not enough time to find defuse for MZS Saints gonna put themselves up 5-1 with a beautiful play there in the post plan scenario they're gonna be on map point they're gonna be on match point and they're gonna be on a series point yeah, all the points are lining up right here. Just one more match for the Saints potentially to take this one after a long, hard-fought series. See, they definitely want to earn this right here. Of course, it's search and destroy, and they're really proving themselves that they can play very well. Maybe that map just wasn't their map. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You have to have a short memory when you lose maps. You definitely should have won, but they're going to be on the defense here. University of Akron now on their dying of breaths, giving us a very, very good series, but have to play perfectly here if they want to be victorious in this one. And that's a great start. They take down Enslea. Nice smoke onto KB, but he will be able to rush out. Almost finds one. Will be able to probably chase this one down as Priestley finds one. And the nice. Double kill from PC. Actually, KB is going to get taken down by Bowie as the trade almost comes out from Brandon. Now it's a 1v2 scenario here for PC. The bomb is, I think, down on his body, but he's going to need an ace to close this one out. Priestley's last semester, as you said here at the school, last playoff run, if he could close out the game here in the 1v2 scenario with an ace, would be such a good a story. Now he's going to start making his way back over towards this ace site. He sees that the bomb has been picked up, so 
Let's see how he decides to play this one. Can't, if he walks through these doors, we'll give away his position. The plants going down. He does spot out one. Takes him down. Let's see if he can find a diffuser for the ace. Priestley going to be looking for it. Nice move. So he's going to find it. Nice ace there and a is. clutch from Priestley. Saints going to take the map 6-1 and take the series 3-2 over Akron as they put themselves in the final against Northwood. I cannot believe how perfect this whole series went. I mean, just look at that. Priestley getting a clutch at the end. You love to see it. You know, it's his last mess. You gotta get as many of those last brilliant showcases as you can. And now they've earned themselves a spot in this grand finals, but it is going to be a tough one. They're gonna be going up against the Northwood. And even if they do win, they're going to have to play through the bracket reset as well. Yeah, you could see they're in good spirits after that win. Definitely a sigh of relief from everyone on the team. A series they were definitely confident heading into considering they 3 0 them literally yesterday. But uh, I couldn't put up a great battle. Congratulations to them as uh, they made a deep run in this tournament. Competed with the best of the best. Unfortunately fell to the Saints. But now is the time we've all been waiting for. Saints against Northwood. It's going to be an exciting matchup and may the best team win. Exactly. It's all going to be very exciting for our final match here today. But before that, we're going to take a quick break, get everybody settled, settled get everybody acquainted. But once we're back, we'll be here with the grand finals. We'll see you soon, everybody.